Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we have a treat here because Pocket Tactics, I don't know how they got this info. I haven't seen this info anywhere else. So they must have got an inside scoop or something uh, for an article. I have no idea. But anyway, they've got the release date of when these guys are supposed to drop and also their skills. However, I'd take it with a grain of salt. I don't know how reliable these guys are, whether their information is correct and all that stuff. But uh, if the skills are what they say they're going to be, I'm kind of excited for these two new heroes. So they go down here. Um, they talk about Lilith and stuff like that. Uh, they say the joke is going to be AOE and CC. Meanwhile, Queen uh, summons her motorcycle, which is sick, and she can deal damage and heal, which is nice. So we're happy with that. Um, da -da 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 -da. They talk about the crossover event. Uh, they talk about previous ones as well. They go to mention somewhere. I think it might be down the bottom here if I scroll down. Uh, where is it? Somewhere. Here we go. Uh, Queen and Joker will arrive in AFK Arena on December 30. That's like two days away for me. So probably three days away at the time of recording this just because I'm in Australia. But really, really nice. So absolutely keen. If they do drop on December 30, that'll be sick. Hopefully that means they will drop very soon on the test server so we can play with them and check them out. Um, but yeah, let's let's take a look at the skills. Also, apologies for this website. It's on like full like white theme, this website. I, they didn't even like put it on a gray scale. It's like glaringly white. So I apologize because you're probably getting just blinded by the screen. But Joker. Joker summons Arsene who deals damage to all enemy targets. So I don't know how much damage and it says all like... Is this going to be like Irons 2.0 where Irons is now nullified and redundant because we have Joker doing his? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, even if Joker is like a better Irons, that just means you have two different carries for you, for different teams in late game. So I'm cool with that. But hey, AOE Beast, it's, I, I just cannot wait to see these animations. I reckon... They are going to look absolutely savage, so keen to see it. Uh, adverse reaction, Joker temporarily gains a factional advantage against the opponent directly opposite him at the start of battle, unless this enemy belongs to a non-dimensional faction. So to me, that I feel like this is a translation error or they've written it wrong. Uh, to me, that says basically only if it's a dimensional, he gains factional advantage. I think it's supposed to say if it's any faction besides dimensional, he gains the faction advantage because it just, it doesn't read right unless I'm reading it wrong and I just can't comprehend this stuff, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, moving on from that, when Joker deals damage to an enemy that he has advantage against, he knocks down, uh, he knocks them down and weakens them. So not too bad. It'd be cool if he could just like spam this against everyone. So he does his AOE and he's got advantage and all that sort of stuff. Concentrated of fire. After a select few attacks, Joker will deal additional additional damage to his target with his gun. You know, that one's pretty boring. I still like waiting to see skill ups on these type of abilities. Even when we only have abilities labeled like this, I like seeing what the skill ups will bring to the game. Uh, Cause sometimes they have some fun features. Cause this is one of those ones where I'm like, I'm hoping there's like something tied into this, um, you know, with skill ups where it does something extra, but hey, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, moving on from that, all out attack. When a select number of enemies are under control effects, you deal damage to all enemies. So I'm assuming like he might pair well with like a Tassie or something like that. And if it's like three enemies, you team him up with a Pharrell and then he's going to deal AOE damage every time Pharrell fears three people, uh, which will be sick. Another one, Gwyneth. Gwyneth stuns three people with her arrow. Good GG. Even with Gwyneth, if it has to be four people, it's not too hard to get Gwyneth to be doing four stuns. Uh, and then it'll depend on whether, like, you know, what CC is classified as CC, whether Gwyneth's, like, instant, like, one second, like, half second stun is counted. We'll have to wait and see, but, uh, hey, I, I, I'm all for it. Uh, here we go. Next one. Widespread attack. After using his ultimate ability, Joker's AoE range and damage is increased for several seconds. Now, it says his AoE range, but it's like his AO only AoE is from that one. Um, well, well, okay. So this is what I'm, what I'm trying to say is like his adversary, no, his, sorry, his ultimate and also his all out attack, both say they deal damage to all enemies. So I'm wondering if that makes his single target attacks have an AOE effect 
or not. I don't really get the wording of that one once again. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. But if it means that his, all of his attacks get an AoE range, because that'd be pretty cool because then he starts dealing some more AoE damage, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, because his two abilities already state that they hit all enemies. Uh, I don't think you need the range on those. So I'm hoping it's just his basic attacks. And then Leader's Enlightenment. While under control effects, Joker has a chance of removing them every few seconds. This chance is raised further if Queen is on the battlefield. Now, I really do enjoy the way they do this stuff where they tie in the two characters to each other. It makes you want to play with them on the same team. I cannot wait for my full dimensional team, to, especially on my free-to-play account. I feel like it's going to be really, really strong on the free-to-play account. However, we might sub some in and out because... We'll have to see if Queen's going to have enough healing on her own. When we talk about her, we might need the Rowan in there still. But, man, I'm pumped to see what we can do with these dimensionals. Uh, but, yeah, really, really nice. He's got a chance to remove it. Uh, this is going to bring RNG into it a lot, I feel. Uh, being able to, you know, just retry stages until you do get immune to CC or, like, fighting against an Arden or a Pharrell. Just hope that they land it on Joker. Joker. Joker can instantly remove it, and then you can keep going. Stuff like that, I feel like, could be uh, valuable. Also, if Joker becomes your most powerful character, uh, being able to use him against something with, like, a Tassie or something like that, a Tassie or a Forks. I don't know if it would work against a Forks because you're kind of off the battlefield, but definitely against a Tassie if you can remove the Banish and stuff like that. It'd be really cool. Now we move on to Queen. Queen deals AoE damage several times and the uh, with the final dealing increased damage. Uh, she can't be attacked while performing this ability. I'm, I, I'm so keen for this animation. I hope it's like in the anime. Like I hope she's just on her bike and she just starts doing like doughies around the joint. Just just dealing damage, damage, damage. That's That's the dream. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, moving on from that, we have deals AoE damage to all enemies and grants them a nuclear effect for several seconds. If the enemy suffers a select number of critical strikes while the effect is active, they are stunned for several seconds. So this is going to be an interesting play around uh, just to be able to just like have AoE crits basically. So she puts this debuff on. Have to wait and see how many crits it takes, uh, and then if they just keep getting crits, they're going to be stunned. Like, I, I'm real. I really am excited for this. In case you hadn't realized, so I feel like that's going to be able to open up like a bunch more options. And as pumped as I am for a full dimensional team with these two in it, I feel like you're definitely going to be able to split them into different teams and use uh, like the Iron Zelbetto in one, and then the Queen and Joker in another. I feel like it, it's. I feel like they're going to be dominant altogether. I feel like it's going to be good. Uh, moving on from that, Queen's critical hit and defense rating uh, increase by a select percentage each few seconds, and this ability can stack. So it sounds like as the battle goes on, she just gets better. She gets more crits and she gets more defense, which the crits work really well with this one because it deals AoE damage to all enemies. And then we have her ultimate, which deals AoE damage several times. So the way I think she's going to be self-sufficient is um, she's going to gradually increase her crit rate and defense. The crit rate's the important one there. So she's going to deal more crits and then she's going to use this, put that debuff on them, and then you can follow it up with her ultimate, which is going to hit multiple times. You get multiple crits, then they are stunned. GG, it's going to be sick. Uh, Edge of Death. Each time Queen summons uh, her motorcycle, she gains a shield temporarily, which scales on a percentage of her max health. Then we have High Morale. So I'm assuming we don't know the furniture. I'm assuming that what we're seeing is the four abilities and the um, one, two, three, four. Nope, we're seeing all six. Did we see six here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, my bad. This one's probably the furniture. <laughs> okay, so uh, when Queen attacks an enemy that is being controlled, all nearby allies, including Queen, are healed for a percentage of the attack's damage value. So because she's going to be doing a lot of control and stuff like that, hopefully she does do a lot. Also, we have the knockdowns uh, that Joker is going to be doing in that synergy between each other. So I'll have to see how this pans out. Uh, Queen and Joker will, uh, th that was it, that was it. Okay, so that, that is it for that ability. I'm getting too excited reading into it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is where I said doing a full dimensional team, which I'm pumped to do because I think it'll be fun. Uh, I don't think Queen's going to have the healing required to keep a whole team up uh, because once again, we do see here... Uh, all nearby allies so they've got to be close to her not sure on the range of this and all that sort of stuff are healed for a percentage of the tax damage value 
Um, we'll have to see. I don't know. Once again, the thing I love about this is we get a feel for what they're going to do, but I feel like once we get actual multipliers and uh, and see how things function, because sometimes mechanics are a bit different once you actually drop them in to play with them. Also, skill ups will be a huge thing. I always get pumped when we see like these sneak peeks and abilities. I always get pumped to see what the skill ups actually are. So that is what we have for now. Uh, they're supposed to drop in two days, so I'm getting pumped. I don't know if this is true. Once again, take this all with a grain of salt. But hey, if they do drop in a couple days, I'm 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 looking forward to it. I'm absolutely pumped. Like, and I'm I'm just once again, once again, because I keep seeing in the comments, but I'm sick of my lab coins going to waste. Can we please, please not make it a lab coin intensive thing? Can we please let it be like guild coin or challenger coin or something else intensive? Not hero coin because that's 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 too hard for everyone. That's not. It's, it's not what we want, but can we please make it something different so that it's not the grind again? Also, uh, one last note, uh, big shout out to Sero for mentioning this, but when they do drop as free trials, keep in mind they're normally used in the Misty Valley. So unless you have someone that you know is going to buy them or you are going to buy them, uh, just keep in mind that you might want to save the trial for the Misty Valley. But um, on global servers, I'll just pick them up anyway. So that is that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.